Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Teresa and this is Teresa's Journey. I was tagged by Connie's This and That. If you don't know who Connie is, please go check her out. She is a sweetheart. And she tagged me in this, um, I don't know, answer these questions tag. And, um, well, I'm not doing a whip and chat, but I do have some product to show you. So what I thought I would do was answer some questions show you my finishes and the new project that I'll be working on soon. So let's get started on these questions. The first one is how many diamond paintings have you done? I have no idea. I know we're near what other people have done. Um, a lot of them I don't keep. I do diamond paintings and I give them away. Um, but I'm only going to say about maybe 30. Maybe. Uh, I do a lot of off canvas. So, how many diamond paintings do you have in your stash? I have no idea. And I can't even count them because half of them are in storage. Um, if I had to say um, a number, I would say at least 100. So, when did you start diamond painting? Um, well, I've been in Texas over a year. I was diamond painting before that. So, I'm going to say about maybe two, two and a half years. So... If you could only buy from one company, which one would it be? That's hard because um, there's a lot of good budget friendly and high end that I haven't even tried. Um, but as of my experiences right now, I would say GBFKE or um, FG Normal. Um, what is your go to media to um, a wall diamond painting? Uh, YouTube. It's YouTube. Or it's like the gaming things that my kids are playing and, and during the day when it's just me and Damon, it's whatever cartoon is holding his interest. So, um, what is your favorite category of diamond paintings? I don't have one. Um, I see what I like if, at the time. I purchase it. That's what I want to do. Um, and I don't know any of the artists. I don't, I wouldn't know licensed art unless it comes from, you know, um, um, if you buy it from Diamond Art Club or someone who does only licensed art, I wouldn't know, I mean, besides um, a couple of which their names are completely lost by now, um, I really wouldn't, wouldn't know an, a, a licensed art if I saw one. So, all right, um, that's... Number seven, number eight. I don't have a I don't have a favorite artist, um, so this one's kind of uh, out there too. I honestly don't. Uh, now I do have a couple of those that I want, but I think their names have escaped me. It's the one from Diamond Art Club that's got all the little dragons in it. Chewy and Dewey. I can't even remember the artist's name but I want those. All right, it says, what is your go-to wax? Just the pink wax that's in the thing that's all I've ever tried. So that's what I use. I do have some blue tack, but I still haven't used it. Um, my What do you do with your completed diamond paintings? Hang on. Okay, we were at, what do you do with your completed diamond paintings? I, most of them I give them away. I think I have two that I have kept. Um, I hung them up on the wall for a little while and now they're in my portfolio. Um, but normally I have somebody in mind when I do a diamond painting and um, I'm either doing it for a Christmas present or an event or because it would, you know, it, you know, make them happy. So I normally end up giving mine away. I open my kits up, I normally look at them, show them, and then I roll them back up. So that's how I store mine. Until I plan out, uh, I'll go to a planning and I'll put some of them in the portfolio book to straighten out underneath my mattress. Um, I have a couple of um, uh, um, diamond art clubs that I really want to get done. Um, in my stash and I really don't have the room and with a three-year-old 
you want to have that room. So I don't, I don't, I have those and I really want to get them done. So it says, um, color blocking or confetti or both. It doesn't matter. Um, now, I normally break up my, um, my color blocking because I get bored of it real easy. So I'll do some of it and then I'll do some confetti stuff or some other stuff and then I'll go back to the black, you know. And if, if I only have a short amount of time, then I only do the color blocking because I only need one color. So it says, how do you plan on which kit to do next? Again, most of my diamond paintings are for somebody else. So a birthday is coming up, I gotta get that kit done. Uh, Christmas is coming up. I need those these things done. Uh, normally, it's like the, unless I can squeeze in something for an event, then I'll try and do that. And if I can squeeze in something for an event that is also a Christmas gift, or a Christmas gift, or a birthday gift, or a, you know, I haven't you know seen this person in a while, or if I'm going somewhere and I want to bring a gift, then I can do that. But it's normally it's 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 planned out. Uh, what is your, huh, I don't know, can't even read my own writing. Oh, what is, your, what is your favorite season to do diamond painting? It don't matter. Um, I do like to do other things when it's cold, but... I'll diamond paint. Um, I love Christmas, uh, but I don't necessarily like to do Christmas pictures. It's uh, always a gift or um, something I want to give to somebody else. So that's a thing. Okay, it says, do you work on one kit at a time or multiple kits? One kit at a time. I. Uh, I have one that's, I've got, I've got a couple of them kitted up right now. I've got a gnome one kitted up and a monkey one kitted up, but I'm not working on either one. So, um, it says, what was it? so large kits or snack size, 30 by 40s are my, are my go-to right now. Uh, but I have a few customs that are 40, um, 40 by 50s and I have bigger than that. So it, you got to have that room. So, I normally, uh, it says, do you use a pin or tweezers? I normally use a pin. The only time I use a tweezers is if I'm having to pull something off or, you know, a hair's on there or something like that. So, squares or rounds, doesn't make a difference. I've done both. I don't matter. I haven't had a problem with either one. So, you know, you always got that. Um, favorite way... To place AVs, no, I don't. I just place some. So how do you section? Or yes, sometimes I section off my canvas. Sometimes I don't. Um, right now, sectioning off my canvas. If I if I'm wanting to get it done, um, I'll section it off, and then I'll just try try and do that one section a night, or two sections a night. So I'll try and do that. Uh, do you have another? crafting hobby. I have lots of crafting hobbies. I crochet a little. I definitely quilt. I just make things. I um, I am playing around with some jewelry making, which Richard over at Real Men Craft 2, if you don't know him, go over and check him out. I am learning a lot from that man. He is a good guy. He knows his stuff. So I have a lot of different kind of hobbies. Uh, it says uh, 25 or 24. Uh, if you still have it, show us a photo of your last diamond painting. I don't have it. My first diamond painting was, uh, I think, a 20 by 20, and I gave it to my best friend. So, um, now these are just some that I've heard other people do. Uh, favorite size, uh, your diamond pins. I work. Okay, favorite size of pen means the favorite size of tip. So, 
I use a two placer if I'm doing a coasters or something that's not in order, right? Um, but my favorite one is a four placer. Um, of course, and then you got the elbow or a single place. So, uh, canvases are off canvas. I love off canvas, but I love canvases too. Uh, do you prefer licensed art or no licensed art? Doesn't matter to me. It really doesn't. Um, I don't like the price of, of licensed art, but I understand licensed art. I respect licensed art. So, doesn't make any difference to me. Uh, other than other than your house or home, where do you diamond paint? I diamond paint everywhere. I mean, I diamond paint on my breaks at work. I diamond paint outside. I diamond paint inside. I take Damon to the park. I'll diamond paint there. I'll, I'll diamond paint just about anywhere. Um, Yes, it says, do you have a canvas you don't have but want to or plan to do in the future? Yes. Um, I still can't remember his name. Uh, the artist that has the dragons, like I mentioned before, um, from Diamond Art Club. I love those little, dra those little dra uh, green dragons. And there's a lot of them. Um, I just can't remember his name. So, and um, there's another one. I have a few of his diamond, uh, diamond art clubs, but I got them all on clearance. So, I'll say. Uh, have you ever done a double-sided tape? Well, I only own one at the time. I've only ever owned one. Uh, it's the monkey one I have down there. I have not done a double-sided tape um, canvas. They've all been poured glue. Um, I want to, obviously, but I haven't gotten to it yet. And then the other... I think that's it, guys. I think that's it, except for tagging someone, which I'm not going to do. If you have done this tag, um, you know, or you haven't done this tag and you want to, please feel free. It is an open tag for anybody that's wanting to do something. If you want to share, share. If you don't want to do all of them, don't do all of them. Okay, but right now I want to show you one thing. Well, a couple of things. This is my new finish. It is absolutely gorgeous. It is, right? And this is what I don't know. This is what I want to ask you guys. Should I use it as a hanger, which is there's a hole right here, right? Right? Or should I put this on magnet? I took the clear, I took the coating off. I didn't even know there was a coating back there, right? So, um, I got a pack of four of those. Okay, um, I just finished this. I'm gonna reach, just hang on a minute. I'm reaching. Okay, I just finished this. I just started this this morning. I finished it, to, you know, because it's not much. Um, I sealed it, and I fit, you know, things. But look, I colored this down here black, right? And I put the sealant over it too. But look at it. It came out really good. I mean, all you had was these out here. And then the round here, and then the bottom down here. That's all you really had. It didn't take more than a little while. But I want to give this to Scott. Next. Next. I also painted the base black. It did you look just like this, and it had that three stripes, right? So it will slot in now like this. I just think it looks so much better that way. But this is my entry. This is September. This is my entry to hashtag under the moon, right? With Diamond Grandma and, oh gosh. Well, who is her co-host? 
Oh, Dawn's Life. Yep, Dawn's Life is a co-host for Under the Moon. Ooh, sorry guys. Under the Moon, or hashtag Under the Moon 23 with Diamond Grandma. This is my entry. Under the Moon. I'll try and get something else done, but I haven't seen anything else I have with the moon. This is what I'm working on currently, or fixing to start working on, right? Because this is a Christmas gift, and I've been trying to do one, or, you know, keep a Christmas gift going. But these are coasters, right? Look at this. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it goes that way. And then you've got Eat, Sleep, Game, and Repeat. This is huge. You've got Level Up. A set of eight guys. You've got the Black Controller, which is different than this one. Just, you know. Game on. Game over. And then you've got the white controller, which is still different than this one. Or this one. So, yeah, I'm doing this. What's going to be fun about these, guys, is look at this. It did come with the... With the cork but look the cork matches oh let me see you'll be able to see it better if I turn it over look I have to match them I've never seen them done this way, ever. Right? So I have to match them, right? And I think this one is like, see, see the little, but I've never seen them done like this before, I, you know, I've, But, hey, at least they're here, right? At least they're here. So, yeah, this is what I'm starting on for um, my sons, um, one of my sons for Christmas. So, um, been trying to keep one Christmas project going, right, through all the other ones. All right, everybody, I hope you've enjoyed this. It's long enough. Remember, open tag to any of the questions or all of the questions, right? Remember, guys, right? Jesus loves us all, and he walks with everybody. He walks with each one of us. If you don't know him, all you got to do is just ask. He'll be there. All right, everybody. I'll talk to you in my next video. Everybody, take care of yourselves. Bye, everybody. Love you. Bye.